Well, hey, this is Josh Nelson with the Seven Figure Agency. And on this video, I want to walk you through the process of setting up your lead funnel so that you can get prospects coming to you interested in your services to raise their hand, be educated, be influenced, get to know, like, and trust you, and then turn into sales. And so let's just walk through what a what a lead funnel could and should look like for your local internet marketing agency. And there, there's a couple of steps, and it's a little bit complicated if you're not familiar with um, autoresponders and with lead magnets. So I just wanted to try and make this as visual and as simplistic as possible. But ultimately, you're going to have your website, and on that website, you're going to have an opt-in form probably on your home page, probably on a free page or a download page of your website. And there, you're going to tell people, hey, look, we do internet marketing services for companies just like yours, and we've developed a, a report or a guide that walks you step-by-step -step through how to most effectively market your type of company online. And um, it walks you through how to claim your Google Map listing, how to set up your website, the most commonly searched keywords, and so you're going to be offering that to them on your website. And, and so that's where on the far left of this, this chart, you've got home page and free or download page. That's where you're going to offer them the guide. Now, obviously, in order for them, them to opt in, they'll need to type in their name. They'll need to type in their email address and pro possibly a phone number. And once they do that, they'll be opted in. Now, you're going to send them to a thank you page in your website where you say, hey, thanks for opting in. I went ahead and sent you the guide. It went to the email that you provided. And then at that point, you're going to offer them a free assessment or evaluation of their, of their site. Now, synonymous to that, you're going to have an autoresponder in place, possibly AWeber, possibly Infusionsoft, possibly any other number of systems that do this. The system we like is Infusionsoft. But then there's going to be a sequence of events that happen once they do that. They're going to get an email with the actual guide that they requested. They might get a call from your system say hey thanks for thanks for opting in I went ahead and sent you the report I'd love to talk with you and then you can sequence out over the next 15 30 90 days a series of emails a series of touches and a series of events that move them down the sales funnel from uninterested to requested your report to educated to finally being a prospect and or a customer so let's let's piece this out What's your lead magnet in this particular scenario? Uh, your lead magnet is your guide. It's your information. And so you have a report that you've developed uh, that explains exactly what a company in your niche should be doing to most effectively market their company online. And so that's your lead magnet. That's what you're offering. And then in order to give someone the opportunity to, to, to download that lead magnet, what you want to do is have a web form. And so you'd have a web form just like this where they can enter their name, their email address, and possibly their phone number. Really just give you the information you need in order to, to, to follow up with them, both via email and possibly via phone. And so this is not super complicated, but the way you would do this is you would set up a campaign either in Infusionsoft or AWeber, and when you set that up, it will set up a web form for you. And it's just, you're going to tell the web form, I want to collect name and email address, or I want to collect name, email address, and phone number. Possibly you say you want to collect name, email address, phone number, and address. You can collect as much information as you like. I personally like collecting name, email address as mandatory. That way I know at least I've got an email. And then optional phone number, because some people will give it to us. And if we've got a phone number, then we can reach out to them on the phone. We can have an automatic voice broadcast go out. Uh, and so once you set that up, your system, whatever it is, whether it's Infusionsoft or AWeber or whatever platform you decide you want to do this on, will give you a piece of code, um, a web form code. And then you can take that and put it in your website. You can put it into your pop-up box. You can put it into a number of places. But this is how you set the first step in your lead funnel is you have to set up a web form and get it onto your website and the places where people are going to find it. From there, the next step is you have to take them to a thank you page. And so they've opted in. You have a choice at that point. You can either send them straight to the guide where they download it, or you can send them to a page that says, hey, I sent you the guide. 
I'm going to encourage you then on your thank you page where they go after they opt in doesn't give them the guide. Because what we found is most people will just put in a fake email address because they figure, hey, I just want to get the thing. I don't want any follow-up. That's not a legitimate lead for you. You don't even get the opportunity to reach out to them. And so that's why I encourage you on that thank you page, just have it be a video or a piece of text that says, hey, thanks so much for requesting the report. I went ahead and sent it to the email address you provided. It should be in your inbox momentarily. And then shift into talking about them, their business, and what you can do. Make them an offer. And what I find works well for, for agency prospects or for internet marketing prospects is to, at that point, say, hey, I went ahead and sent you the report. And if you're like most companies in your niche, then you're probably looking for best practices. You're looking for somebody that can help you get this right. And the report I sent you is filled with great information. It's really going to educate you on how to set up your website and do all those things. But if you'd like to have a separate set of eyes, if you'd like to have someone look at it that really understands what good internet marketing looks like, if you'd like to have that, then I'd like to make myself available to you. And what I'll do, if you're interested, is I'll look at your website. I'll complete a, a list of the most commonly searched keywords in your area. I'll figure out where you're ranking. I'll look at some of the off-page off page factors in terms of how many links you have, how many citations you have, how many online rankings you have. And then when we meet or when we talk in person, I'll be able to show you exactly where you're at today, where there's room for improvement, and then if it makes sense, even show you how we can work together to help you bridge the gap. Um, so if you'd like to do that, you can give me a call directly or just click the link below to schedule a strategy session. Works well. The reason I, I do it this way is because I find that right when they enter their information is when they're the hottest. That's when they're in the mindset of, okay, I'm looking for solutions. I'm looking for something to do. Um, and so if all you do is send them information, you're missing out on the biggest opportunity, which is to try and schedule uh, a meeting, which, which really gives you a lead as opposed to a, a prospect. And so that's your thank you page. And this is where your prospects are going to go after they enter their name and email address. And on just about any of these systems, whether it's Infusionsoft or Entreport or AWeber, there's a setting that says thank you page. So when someone fills out the form, it can do a number of things. It can just pull up a, a canned default, thanks for sending your information, or you can overwrite it and set it to a URL. So you want to set up a page on your website that has this thank you message that offers them your assessment. So that's what I'm going to encourage you to do with your thank you page. And you'll find a lot of people will take you up on that assessment right there. Or they'll call your office, you know, pretty interested in talking. Now, clearly you don't want to stop there. You have to have a follow-up sequence. First of all, you have to deliver on your promise, which was to send them the guide. And then you want to remain top of mind with them. Because the fact is... If they just requested your report and your report is about internet marketing for the companies in your niche, that means they're your ideal potential client, they're interested in internet marketing services, and they're probably going through some type of buying evaluation. So you want to make sure you touch them multiple times over the next three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, however long. I think ours is currently set where we're touching them for 90 days. And people will raise their hand and, and take us up on our assessment offer at any point in that 90-day period. So what we want to do next is develop that sequence of events that's going to happen after they opt in to your free report. And so the first email, obviously, is just about as simple as, hey, thanks so much for requesting the report. Here's your download link. And on that email, you can just literally have an image, the hero image of your of your guide where they can click it and download it. Um, or you could say, hey, here's your guide, click here to download it, and say, by the way, if you'd like to talk with us about how we can help, I've recorded a video. And then take them right back to that thank you page again that has an autoplay of you offering your free assessment or your paid assessment, however you want to set it up, but where you're offering them some live one-on-one -on -one time with you that live one-on-one -on -one time with you is, is really what we're after. Those are the leads that you can present your services to, show your value, and get customers from. Um, and then you can get creative with what you do after that first email. But usually what I have mindset to do is after about um, a day, I send a follow-up email. It's just re-thanks for downloading your guide. And 
it's just saying, hey, you know what? I just wanted to follow up. I sent the guide. I know you've probably got a lot of things going on. You may or may not have seen it, so I wanted to send it again. And kind of ask, I'd love to get your feedback when you had it, have a chance to let me know what you think. So kind of having a personal touch to that automated email. And then from there, you can kind of shift into education mode. Whatever information is in your guide, and your guide probably talks about how to set up their website, what the most commonly searched keywords are, um, how to get ranked into Google Maps, how to get online reviews, you want to start to drip that information on them. So the first couple of emails, you're kind of going straight for, hey, I sent you the guide. Hey, I'd love to talk with you about how we can help. You can only do that so many times without being obnoxious. So then by the time you get to the second week, you can say, hey, you know what? Last week you requested a free copy of my guide, the complete guide to internet marketing for this type of niche. And I sent it to you. And what I find is most dentists, attorneys, plumbers, whatever niche you're in, are so busy that they don't really have time to implement all of the ideas and strategies outlined in my report or outlined in my guide. And so what I want to do over the next five weeks is take the pieces of it and break them down for you and send them out to you one at a time over the next week. Does that sound fair? So you're almost telling them, hey, this is what I'm going to do. Unless you tell me you don't want it, I'm going to just send you these emails. And so the first email might be like, and so what I want to start with is how to get your website ranked in the search engines. And whatever information you have in your guide about how to get ranked in the search engines, that's the email content, right? I hope this makes sense. And then the next one would be how to optimize your website. So how to set your title tags and your H1 tags and uh, what your keyword density should be. If you have a, a section in your guide about that, then that would be the next email about a week later. Then a week later, what keywords you should be targeting with your internet marketing strategy as a dentist or a roofer, a chiropractor. Then a week after that, how to get your roofing business ranked on the Google map. Again, just taking the, 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 the chapter heads inside your guide and putting them into your emails. And what's cool about this is you can have this informational flow that's written specifically for the people in your niche that's answering their really their questions that they might not even know they should be asking, but they're seeing and saying, wow, this is good information. I never read it in the guide, but here I am getting it in these emails and potentially in video as well. If you, in, if you embed video on your emails, they feel educated. And after they feel educated, right at the end of your email, you always kind of close with, hey, you know what? If you'd like some help implementing these strategies, I'd love the opportunity to talk with you. Give us a call at this number. Or I'd like to offer you a free assessment where I'll do this, 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 and this. And so you're kind of hitting that same exact offer again and again, trying to get them to schedule a live conversation with you where you can show them what's wrong as outlined in the how to sell consultatively uh, these internet marketing services. You can go through that process with them. And so these are just some of the emails you can drip out over that six-week, eight-week, ten-week period. And so if you look at how this looks in Infusionsoft, and I know this might be a little bit small to see on the screen, this is what our lead sequence looks like. Um, you know, it, it basically just goes from sending them the guide. They get a voice broadcast from me. Hey, you just requested our guide. I sent it to you via email. Wanted to make sure you got it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Here's my number. Um, then it creates a task for my sales representative to reach out to them because we don't want to rely just on the broadcast. So our sales representative will call and say, hey, you downloaded our guide. Just wanted to touch base with you on that. Try and get them live or leave a, a voicemail. Um, then some training on Google Maps. Then uh, some case studies and examples. And you can see there's a lot of emails and a lot of steps that go into this. But what happens is if you're putting enough people into the top of this and they're getting through these emails over time, they're being educated and, and people will fall out of the bottom eager and ready to do business with you. And so I've actually got each and every one of the, the emails that we use in our follow-up sequence, all of the text and the Word document, which you can download in the members area. So I'll just pull that up and, and kind of walk through it briefly. And so you've got this in the members area. You know, it says, hey, thanks for registering to download the Plumber SEO Internet Marketing Guide. You know, you can download it by clicking the image below. So a little image of our hero shot. And then directly into, you know, now that you've, now that you have the guide, 
with some ideas on how to market your plumbing or HVAC business, you might wonder what's next. Please take a few minutes to watch the video below where I show you some real world case studies and examples of how you can double your sales by getting your internet marketing right. Check it out. So that takes them to that page where I'm offering them to, to do the assessment. Um, then the next email, and you might separate this by a day. Hey, just wanted to, to reach out. You downloaded the guide a couple days ago. Hope you've had a chance to read through it and implement a few of the ideas that I referenced. Uh, on and on. And so you've actually got this in a Word document format. And you can take what makes sense. You can use it. Maybe you want to switch it up a little bit. But I really think that the right way to flow with this is to educate, 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 drive them to a paid assessment or a free assessment where you're going to really show them value and show, you, show them where there's room for improvement. So, of course, you have the, the link where you can download that particular document. I'm trying to take all of, the, all of the hard work out of this and give you the exact strategy that you can put into play in your niche and start to see some results. And so if you do this right and you follow my process, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to develop a lead generation and sales funnel where you can drive traffic from Google, from YouTube videos, from social media to your website. And they might go to the home page. They might go to the download page. They might just go to a separate page that you set up for the sake of capturing leads. They'll enter their name and their email address, which of course you'll get. And then they'll be added to a sequence of emails and events that drip great information on them and prompt them to, to raise their hand um, and contact you. And if your email sequence follows the flow I'm talking about, people are going to come to you pre-positioned to buy. They're going to feel like they know you. They're going to start to like you. They're going to appreciate and have a little bit of sense of reciprocity with you because you've given them value without asking for a dollar in return. And then... They're going to give you their attention so you can go through a consultative sales process with them and show them exactly what you can bring to the table. You'll have higher close ratios and you'll have a real sales and lead generation machine. So hope you get value from this. I hope this makes sense as far as how to set up your lead generation funnel. And I look forward to talking with you again soon.